Hey homeowners, I hope you're doing great. For today's video, we are dedicating it to our kitchen. Today, we will be talking about kitchen organizing. Kitchen is obviously the busiest part of the home, so it's quite difficult to do things when everything is just very messy and all over the place. It's also quite difficult to declutter once this happens. So for today, we will be showing you some of the best kitchen hacks. So a lot of times, if a kitchen is messy, it's hard to do things. Nakakawala ng gana magluto o maghugas ng pinggan. So let's take a step back and let's walk you through some of these kitchen hacks for us to get back on track. Keeping your measuring items like cups and spoons just in the top cabinets or drawers sometimes doesn't look too appealing. What you can do is take these tiny adhesive hooks that you can stick on the back of your top cabinet doors and these can be your hangers for your measuring cups and spoons. Be sure to measure and mark where you place them so they are aligned. These are so convenient because you don't need any drilling or anything that takes too much work. Kayang kaya sa mga stay-at-home moms natin. See, you can also do this for other kitchen utensils like ladles and spatulas. All you have to do is get slightly bigger hooks. Drawers are basically their own compartments, but we can utilize this further by making tiny dividers inside our drawers. Take some thin panel that's a bit sturdy and can easily be cut. Plywood is good, but a nice thing you can do as well is use popsicles glued on together to make a thin plank. You can be creative and use other materials too. Measure out the width and height of your drawer depending on how you want to place your panel. It can be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Stick it with tape or you can use a glue gun if you want it permanent. Now you can put your utensils, condiments, or other items here without it looking messy. Oh, by the way, we have a giveaway! We will be posting the link down in the description box and wait till the end of this video for you to know this week's prize. Now, this can be quite a little tougher to follow than the rest of the hacks, but wall shelves can be a big help in organizing things. Install up to three rows of wall shelves above your kitchen counter. You can store here your prettier looking ceramics and glassware while allowing them to add ornamental value. This is a nice alternative to having display cabinets as it doesn't take floor space. I know we are used to keeping our dry goods in their packaging like cereals and pasta, but this can actually add to the visual clutter. Don't be afraid to toss those boxes and wrappers away. Store your dry goods in clear containers, preferably glass jars. Get them in different sizes, tall, narrow, wide, so you have something for all kinds of food. This makes your pantry look so much better. It makes it more vibrant and appetizing. I just want to look at this all day. Kitchen racks do an extreme job. It's like expanding your kitchen. 
This is especially useful if you have a lot of large kitchen equipment or appliances like a microwave, mixer, or the ultimate tita appliance of today, the air fryer. Choose a kitchen rack made of steel that can withstand the heat from some appliances. You may be taking a bit of floor space with a kitchen rack, but if you do have the room for it, it's a great investment because it gives you multi-layer, heavy-duty storage. Get low-cut storage bins like clear fridge boxes or these baskets. Just like the glass container tip, this will help you organize your pantry by keeping your packets of food compact and by category. You can make it so one compartment is for sweets, another compartment for your snacks, and one for baking ingredients. It's all up to you. Grouping your food by category also makes your items easier to find and grab. holders aren't just for paper towels, but you can actually use them as a trash bag dispenser. For easy application, get a holder that has adhesive tape so you can just stick it on the back of your cabinet. If you can't find one, you can nail your holders in place. Or use push pins if you don't want to do a lot of work. After you have installed your holders, place your trash bags in and voila! You have a trash bag dispenser. There you go. I hope that you can use the tips that we've shared with you today right in your kitchen. There are actually a lot of other kitchen hacks for you to explore. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below on what else you want to see from our channel. See you on the next one, homeowners. Bye! Comment of the week. Congratulations to last week's winner. This week's prize!